what exactly do you need to test? Is that just adjusting the, headroom? Uh, the ability to adjust the headroom on the tracking space. I think they've, what I'll say is I think they've made a, some significant progress on the headroom oh, yeah. um, with this release. Is going The headroom is going to be a lot less because you just saw, I mean, it wasn't egregious. Yeah. Um, but there are no headroom adjustments in this firmware today. I think the dynamic zoom option, though, is your best bet because yeah. you can adjust the zoom. You can get it to the exact distance that you would like and you won't be locked in on that specific zoom type you want. Yeah, like if we look at just you can just stay seated, John, but I've got this camera on you now. I've got dynamic zoom on and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little tighter um, when Mike uh, cuts to that. And we'll just take a peek at it because we should be able to. Okay, here we go. So when dynamic zoom is on, I'm able to zoom in even while auto tracking is enabled. So you see that? So auto tracking is on, John, if you just kind of just wiggle a little bit. Yeah, I'll get up again. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Well, it is, it, is, it is what it is. I was just making your point that, yes, uh, the... Dynamic zoom is the best option for controlling headroom at this time. Okay, cool. All right. So now we're going to turn auto tracking off. And by the way, when I turn auto tracking off, the camera is just going to stay where it was. It doesn't go back to any predefined location. It just stays wherever its last location was, which is a also an improvement um, to the way that the firmware was acting before.